There, that's better. Hello, I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we're continuing our series on Let's Start to Finish. The response to the first two has been overwhelming. Thank you so much. I think it just proves that these concepts are, are just key to being a good optician. Today, we're gonna to continue those little tiny baby steps, build on prior knowledge, start looking at the same basic spheres, simple horizontal decentration, but using monocular PDs. And in our final example, we're gonna do out decentration and a zero. Example number one. For this example, we'll have a right of plus 350, a left of plus 375, customer PD of 2928, and a frame of 5218. That would be a common PD and powers for a single vision reader. We have super frame, and super frame says it has a boxing system of 5218. Now, a couple of things are gonna be different than the last two videos. One, our power is starting to creep up. So, instead of just taking my numbers of 5218 at face value, adding them together and getting a 70 millimeters, because the power is creeping up, I'm actually gonna double check that. I would actually measure my A exactly where I'm supposed to according to the boxing system, double check that I have 52, and then I would check my frame DBL, distance between my lenses, and make sure that I had 18. That checks out, so we're good to go. We can use our 70. The other difference between this and the last two, although we're still doing baby steps and very small changes, is that our PD is given to us monocularly. It isn't a single number, it's two numbers. It's 29 and 28, meaning that this person is not perfectly symmetrical. If you were looking at them, their right eye is a tiny bit further away from the central line of their nose than their left eye is. Not uncommon at all. Because our power is starting to creep up, we'd want to consider doing that monocular PD. So if I have two numbers for my PD, I need two numbers to work with with my frame. So I take my 70 millimeters and I divide it in half and I get 35. That's where that number comes from. Where does 35 come from? Splitting my frame, A and DBL, or my distance between centers in half. 35, 35. Now, if I have a human PD of 29 in the right, I take my 35 minus 29, and why do I use a calculator? Because my brain doesn't work that good and because I don't want to make a mistake and ruin a lens. That gives me a difference of six millimeters right, and we're going to do that in, and 35 minus 28 gives me a difference of 7 millimeters in. My PD is narrower than my frame PD, that would be in decentration. I would be taking my lens in my right and moving it this, and over 6 millimeters, and in my left, I'd be moving it over seven millimeters, one more to account for the difference. Here is what it would look like in the blocker. We have got six millimeters of movement in our right. May as well go ahead, load up a block. There, notch. Good. We're gonna move that over six. We are gonna take our right lens and move it right for indecentration. That looks wonderful. Notch up, tongue right. Oh, I knew there was something I was forgetting. I'll get to it in just a second. Uh, and we move seven for the left, that's five, that's six, that's seven. Seven, that would be zero. I'm moving that over seven millimeters. And that looks wonderful. Thing I meant to mention and I forgot, 
These are just inherent in the design of this particular blocker. They do get in the way. I know that makes it a little bit difficult sometimes to see exactly what's going on behind them, but those are not part of the marking device or the grid system. Uh, they're somehow inherent in how everything's held together. So, sorry, but that's the way that is. Example number two. And don't go anywhere if you're getting the hang of this and you say, my God, I wish you would just hurry up and move on with things. Uh, stick around for example number three because I'm gonna do a zero in and out with that one. For example two, we will have a right of a minus 550, a left of minus 475, a customer PD of 2830, and a frame with a boxing system of 5114. I have got super frame. Super frame has a boxing system measurement of 5114. My powers are creeping up. I need to be a lot more careful with things than I would be if that was a 0.50 and a 0.75. So I'm gonna double check this measurement. If you're not familiar with the boxing system, watch the video on the boxing system. I'm gonna make sure that my A is 51. And it is, and I'm gonna make sure my DBL is 14, which it is, so we're good to go there. I have been given a monocular PD of 2830. Monocular meaning that this person, the right eye is not symmetrical. It has a different distance from the center of their nose to the center of their pupil than it does in their left eye. Because I have two numbers, 28 and 30, I need to split my frame. My 65 gets divided by two, which gives me 32 and a half and 32 and a half. When I have my 32 and a half and I take away my 28, I end up with a decentration amount that I need to move this OC four and a half millimeters in the right in and two and a half millimeters in in the left. Where did this come from? Splitting my frame. Where did these come from? My monocular PD. Once I get over to the blocker, I will take my lens, and because 28 is narrower than 30 is, I'm going to have to displace or decenter this lens more. How much more? I need to move this one four and a half millimeters over. For my left, I only need to move it two and a half millimeters over. Let's see what that would look like in the blocker. Example number two, in my right, I have got four and a half. That's four and a half. Let's go ahead and load up a block. That, take my right. And right moves right for indecentration. That would be on center. That's over four and a half. And for my left, I have a little tiny two and a half. There's two and a half. That would be on center over two and a half. And that would be my left. Example number three, which I promised was gonna be a little bit different. And it's gonna be a little different too because I'm actually gonna kind of draw this out and work it out in front of the camera. So we may have a little fast motion here, I'm not sure. It may just be watching me, watching my back. Uh, so let's get going. For example, three, we'll have a right of minus six, a left of minus 650, customer PD of 3332, and a frame with a boxing system of 4717. I have super frame. Super frame has a boxing system measurement of 4717. 47 and 17 gives me a total of 64. My powers are, are getting up there. I'm gonna be super careful about what I do. I'm gonna make sure that 47 and that 17 are correct. Take out my PD stick. The only time we use a PD stick, I'm gonna check my A, which is 47, and I would check my DBL. We're a nice 17, so we're good there. Let's see what we can fill in. We've got a 64. And even I think I can divide 64 in half, so that would be 32 and 32, all right. We have a monocular PD of 33, 32. This is gonna be interesting. Frame 32, 32. 
human. 33, 32. 32 minus 33 is minus 1, and 32 minus 32 is 0. Okay, we got red flags. Ding, 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 bells, whistles, red flags going off. We've never seen a minus 1 before, have we? What that tells us is that this person, his or her PD, monocular PD for the right eye, their pupil is actually wider. It's further from the center of their nose out to the pupil than it is from the center of their nose to the center of the eye wire opening. For this person, their pupil for the right eye is going to be over here. Look, it's extremely rare, but it does happen, so be aware of it. What does zero tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us? Zero tells us that this lens is not going to have to be decentered at all. Their pupil and the center of the eye wire opening are equal. So it's going to be an overlap. We're going to have that. When I always see what the rule is for indecentration, right moves right, left moves left, and we'll look at this in the blocker in just a second. For my right eye, it's not going to do that this time. It's going to go from here, this way instead, one millimeter. For my left, I'm not going to decenter that lens at all. That center OC dot off of my lens meter is going to go right there. The two outer ones don't matter at this point because we're doing a sphere. Let's see what that would look like in the blocker. For example, number three, we have something a little bit different going on. Normally, if I saw one in the right, I would go this way for indecentration. But because we have out, I'm going to move my right lens to my left. I'm going to load up a block. Set my right. Exaggerate that just a little bit so we can see it. Stick that on there. And let's see here. That would be the center of my block. That would be my OC displaced out towards the temple in my right as if I was wearing a pair of glasses. So that is correct. Looks great. Something a little different. Our left is a zero. I'm going to just set that on zero. I'm going to take my left lens and I am going to put it on zero. No decentration at all. Put my block on there, and everything should be lined up. My X, my X in the center of my dot. Perfect. No decentration. Human PD is equal to my frame PD. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. If you are ready to get started finishing, please give us a call at Laramie K. We will be glad to help you out. Thank you.